Hey there guys, uh, we got a special review today. Uh, this is the final beer sent to me by Crazy Canadian 6 via Beer Trade. Uh, Chimay White or Chimay Sig Scents. I believe it's also called in the uh, large 750 milliliter bottles. 8% alcohol by volume, it's a triple in style from the uh, Scourmount Abbey. It's one of the original, I think they uh, actually say it's the uh, very first triple or one of the originators at least of the triple style uh, one of the sort of uh, standard bearers for the style definitely along with uh, West Mall triple and it's highly regarded as one of the uh, best beers in the world best before end date of 2013 I have this at about room temperature which you want for the uh, flavors to properly come out so we're going to pour it in my uh, Aflagem goblet here because I don't have an actual Chimay goblet and we're going to get our opinion on it, see how it stacks up. Alright guys, we'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back with Chimay White. The only other Chimay I've had, uh, I've had Chimay Red, but I never got uh, uh, chance to uh, review it. Uh, I've also had Chimay Blue or uh, Chimay Grand Reserve, of course. Alright. First off, it's a very murky, uh, sort of golden orange, almost like a uh, kind of like a golden sunset kind of color. You can tell right away uh, the difference between this and uh, Chimay Blue, of course. Chimay Blue being the quadruple, it's darker. Um, the head retention is not as strong. Uh, the head's a lot more bubbly on the Chimay Blue. This one here is, um, although it's got sort of uh, champagne-like carbonation coming up, uh, it's got a much more thicker kind of head to it. Uh, a lot more uh, almost ice cream-like. So it's a very, very nice looking beer. Very, very good. About two fingers ahead there. You can get more depending on how you pour. Uh, very highly carbonated beer. Fucking black flies. All right, so we'll go right to the aroma now. Mmm. Very complex aroma. Uh, very smooth and inviting. It's got these really um, nice sort of uh, white uh, green fruit kind of smells uh, right away. Uh, pick up pear, uh, white grape, uh, maybe a little bit of an apple kind of smell. There's this big uh, bready yeasty Belgian note there, a hint of spiciness, a uh, bit of a clove kind of character to it. And there's even a little bit of um, sort of citric hops rounding it out. Very, very nice. It smells, it just smells really good. Look at that. Look at that head. Making little mounds right in the middle. Alright. Cheers. We're going to go right for the taste now. Oh. Very highly carbonated. Um, feel that right away. The hops actually come out first in this one. Uh, really dry hops. Um, it's not like an IPA kind of note, but it's, it's a very strong hop character. It comes right out, dries things out. And the aftertaste is actually the, uh, the sort of white, uh, light green fruit kind of flavors. Again, the pear comes out. Uh, white grape. And there's this peppery uh, Belgian uh, yeast and those uh, fruit flavors of course are uh, the malts, uh, sweet malt kind of thing coming out. Oh yeah, just it, it just makes you want to drink another sip after another sip. Um, at 8% it's highly drinkable. Um, even more drinkable than some of the uh, uh, you know, uh, lesser uh, in alcohol 
uh, Belgian beers out there. Like, I think this is, in a way, more drinkable than, say, uh, Left Blonde. Even Duval. Uh, it's, it's a tad bit more drinkable than that. Um, and Orval as well. Yeah, actually, I think that's probably the biggest strength of this uh, beer. Um, and it is more drinkable than a fresh bottle of Chimay Blue as well. Um, a, now, an aged bottle of Chimay Blue. Uh, very, very drinkable, very smooth. Uh, but this has a fresh bottle of Chimay Blue beat. Um, it just, it's just much more inviting, much more smooth. The flavors don't smack you in the mouth as badly. Um, this is a highly accessible beer. Uh, in fact, I'd recommend this for anyone who um, wants to dip their toes into uh, Belgian ales, especially if you're looking to try the Belgian uh, triple style. This would be uh, a very, very good choice for your first, uh, first Belgian. Yeah, because you don't get the, uh, the alcohol. A little bit comes out, but you really have to try to uh, actually notice it, okay? Because it just masks so well with that carbonation and that that sort of clove-like and peppery spiciness coming out. Mmm. Just dries your mouth out one, and makes you want to have some more. It's really good. <laughs> it's an excellent beer. Um, I'm really glad I finally got to try this, thanks to the uh, Crazy Canadian 6 for sending me this one. Mm. Nice, really nice. I'm ready to give my final grade on this one. Um, I think I, in, in a different way, I sort of like Chimay Blue better than this one. And I can't remember what Chimay Red tasted like, so I can't really say which is my favorite Chimay at this point, but... Um, this is a really great beer. Uh, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. It's a, it's an excellent world-class beer. Uh, I think I gave Chimay Blue 4.5 out of 5. And I think I gave the age bottle a 5 out of 5. One of the age bottles I had. Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm splitting hairs here. It's a 4.5 out of 5 beer. It's excellent. Uh, just, you know, I'm a dark beer kind of guy, so kind of loses a little bit of lust, luster for me, right? But um, there's still a lot of joy to be had in this in this brew. It's it's an excellent, excellent beer. So Chimay White, uh, 4.5 out of 5, uh, world-class beer, highly recommended. Uh, and if you're just getting into Belgian beers, this is a really, really good choice for you, I'd say gives you a good idea of what you're getting into. Okay guys, see you later.